Oh, what's up guys? This is the Raverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Little War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode we are getting revenge on the AI <laughs> and uh, we are retaking the city of Tbilisi after I effectively rage quit from frustrating mechanics. So the garrison that's defending it is still quite badly battered from the last engagement but it shouldn't be too much of a problem for our forces. So let's take them on. This is going to be the first of a couple of actions. We've also got um, Astrakhan, which we can secure. Um, but then it is still... We are still focusing on getting ready to take down the... The, uh, the, the United Provinces and their associated protectorates. At least for the meantime, as well as minorly expanding elsewhere. But yeah, the main focus is... The main next focus is to take out basically the Inuit nations, Denmark, uh, Black Hills nations, Morocco, Dagestan, and the Dutch. So let us get busy. So we can go in through the very walls that was that were breached. So my gunners are going to work on another breach. How it's is going to make ready. Pikemen, grenadiers and line infantry are going to be ready to go through the breach. One infantry detachment are going to secure... Essentially secure this. If we knock a hole in the breach we can still come down this pathway and this pathway. And then we've got a large, too large of a cavalry contingent. Oh, and my general, obviously. Quick climb away. Hopefully they're going to land on the... Oh, they're going to fire into the centre. But either way, let's think... We are going to be pushing up. You men get ready to secure the high ground. Guns fire. Horsemen, lancers, generals, bodyguard. A couple of gun teams, but mostly Kizilbashi musketeers. Ooh, excellent hits with quick climb there. Get these infantry units up to secure the defensive position. Skirmishes hold. You men charge in. You men run through. You men run through. Switch the howitzers to switch by a round shot. Give my cavalry orders to bust straight through. Use my infantry to gang up on their musketeers. It looks like they are beating my infantry in a melee fight, so let's make sure we mob them. My pikes can secure the front against the cavalry that might charge in. My grenadiers form up against this unit of Kizilbashi. Give you men orders to attack the 6th. Mounted tribal auxiliary run out wide. Get the grenadiers in. Get 
commit my cavalry force and my general and my pikes. This tribal general unit square up against the potential enemies. Once my once my pikes get in here, that should be quite it should be quite rapid for that to end. Come on, pikemen! In you get. You got some cavalry to chew through. Two men charge. Musketeer unit. Actually, you no. Know, you charge the fifth. Household Cavalry charge the 30th. Get the Curacier in. You guys keep chipping away. These men here. Howitzers just engage enemy units. Curacier charge the Lancers to the rear. My pikemen should really clear them out. The Mandari horsemen are very upset. Hack down the lances. Look at that. <laughs> so many pikes. Go for the general's bodyguard. Engage. You may keep climbing up. I want to secure this crossing. Come on, pikemen. You're going to be the one that does the most of the heavy lifting here. Let's take the cavalry unit and get them to engage the gunners because they did just blast off a shot at close range. Going for map. Some of our line units get my howitzers to engage some of these musketeer units. Grenadiers, colonial line, regiment foot. Four map. Obliterated some of those units there. One general's bodyguard unit that's contesting the cat. No, actually, hold. Hold position, take your punishment. Actually, mount a tribal auxiliary. You've got two units of you. Run you guys over here. Withdraw the household cavalry. We've got a bunch of men stuck on the wall here, including a load of cavalry. There we go, when my mounted tribal auxiliary get into position, they can also engage these fellows while we secure the cap. Let's get these individual skirmish units up on the wall. They are behind us up on the wall there but that doesn't really matter. Because they aren't going to be able to stop us. Two furiously loading firing. Let's see if they're capable of getting a kill at close range. He's got to be ready. Nope. His gun misfired and he missed. <laughs> Not like our boys. Yeah, I need to rebalance this this army. I got way too much cavalry there. 
Way too much cavalry. Probably get some neat, more elite infantry, I think. And the fire by rank drills are a bit funky. Not a standard uniform. <laughs> oh well. Either way, the city is taken. Took a lot of casualties, but uh, yeah, probably want to build a bit of a more appropriate army. So let's combine the light cavalry and then maybe not disband one. Run one up to check. Run the surplus up to check cask. Let's re let's combine. Mount a tribal auxiliary and again run surplus up to Chukask. You were going to run the long way around because you can't get past this guy. They destroyed our church school. So you men replenish. You're able to yeah, just demand the surrender of Astrakhan because they don't have any garrison except the one they already generate. We're going to build fortifications here just because they're on the frontier. Bit of a gamble building to the north. You leave, you can leave. Because ideally, if this army will build, I will build a garrison here that will allow me to make this army attack Cherkask. Instead, I want to try and push on towards Ufa. Let's repair the farm. So yeah, Cherkask is doing some good recruiting. I mean, Crimea will be able to next turn. Can you leave? Minus six. Still a big no. Dispatch my cavalry to go and destroy this. Oh, you need a pikeman. Should still be fine. Yeah, it was. So ideally I want to start sending out troops to cover more of my newly captured territory. And that's quite interesting actually. Spain took Rome from Austria? Yeah. So even though the Ottomans actually landed, they apparently made it weak enough that Rome was able to be captured by... Spanish. So let's send one of our ships up to Ravenna. It's another port to monitor, but I suppose we'll go after Spain after we've dealt with the Dutch problem. You've got some fusiliers on the way, but it looks like you've still got space for some bog standard troops. There they are. One turn's worth. Good. Okay, everything else. Yeah, let's fortify Mexico and, and let's give them a bit of a garrison. Mexico's one of the territories you really don't want to lose. manually cast an eye over our empire to find the gap or we'll to see if there's anything we haven't built yet I generally I'm pretty sure we have upgraded everything we can Let's fortify Quebec. Actually, is there a limit to... Yeah, there's a limit to mercenaries I can recruit, so if I'm creating a garrison, colonial line, it is. Okay, so how goes India? So let's create an army ready 
another army ready to invade India, because that time will come. Even if it's just to actually commit more troops to invading Persia, maybe it is in our interests to expand our forces. I'm not going to build a shipyard in the eastern, well, in the Black Sea. We are the dominant power of in the region. I think even with a fairly standard fleet of fourths and fifths, we're probably going to be in a pretty good spot. So we are sieging Breslau with a force that needs to be replenished. You are replenishing. You're not going to move on to Gdansk until we're ready to fight. I mean, we could definitely take them now, but I don't I don't know what's further east. I've given Saxony money to rebuild this industrial building. Garrison here is quite good. Uh, yes, have you recruited? There they are. Militia to keep the port secured. Because it's not impossible that they... The Austrians att attempt to break out to the east, so Hanover is a possible target. But in general, I'm feeling pretty good. And you're ready. This top tier fleet's got their next batch of ships en route. So you've got space for three more. Oh, let's give them another first rate. Why not? Okay, good. In terms of tech, carronades next turn. They'll keep going on down the naval research tree. That's fine. Okay, let's hit in turn. So we're preemptively beginning to convert Egypt because should we um, get involved in another com in a conflict against the Ottoman Empire, Cairo is a, is a very region I'd very much like to capture. So here comes Austria. Let's see if they do some counter offences against Spain. Well, apparently not. Well, they are trying to. Oh, are they going to go for go for Ankara? Are they going to smash that Austrian army? Or are they going to avoid it and defend the capital at all costs? <laughs> no, definitely not a good trade. Although in a way, maybe strategically I do want Austri the Ottomans to be kind of strong. Again, because it will help. It will help draw our enemy strength. It will help the Austrians get ground down a little bit more. Hey, uh, No. Probably could, but I'm happy to say no. I'd rather get a turn of of uh, replenishment done rather than potentially degrade my forces more. Savoy is on the move. To what end? Yeah, Morocco is not going to go down without a fight, but I'm afraid it will be all for nothing. It looks like Holland is beefing up their navy, ready to try break out. New town emerges in Algonquin territory. Craft workshop it is. New port emerges, Georgetown in the Carolinas. Here, have a trade port. And let's recruit a sloop. Construction of port, commercial port in Churchill. I mean... As soon as they build more docks, they just get the word down from my command being like, nope, we need more. More docks. Excellent. So Crimea... Oh, wait. Can I not... I've got a military governor's barracks to build line infantry. That's a bummer. Although I suppose you're not really going to be breaking out anytime soon. Could potentially recruit some militia as a garrison. Um, Steam Dry Dock, Ordnance Board in Ceylon. 
Man, that's a lot of great, great upgrades here. The public servant dies. Let's see which one of our ministers it was. Must have been my justice minister, so let's boot them out. Four star. Handy. Bit of a garrison built. We've done all the construction. Use a lot of my agents that are doing spying. You're going to keep replenishing, as are you. Well, I'm completely content with taking Breslau in due course. Uh, but I'm not overly bothered about making sure I blitz through the territory as quickly as I need to. So let's recruit two light infantry units to fill up that gap. And just start building. Let's get some more garrison guards and a howitzer. I mean, you're a good garrison now. Okay, keep upgrading an astrakhan. Build a couple of militia units. Push on towards Ufa. Build a trade port. Excellent. To be honest, should I just build five units of militia to build up a garrison while these things get built? Because I mean, you're—I mean, you will be pushing up to Kiev. This garrison army maybe might push on up towards Moscow, while you're going to push on and knock out Ufa Kazan Ust, and you are going to build a garrison ready to jump on Tarki when the time comes. My armies to push against our enemies in Europe is, is ready. We have two large armies here, but I am I am content to let them try and do something with them, i.e. sail them away. I imagine Corlin's only got one port, which means they can only build four rates maximum. Let's hit and turn. Need to make sure my agent in Maryland is suitably engaged. It's another Ottoman army down by Egypt that's on the move. Ah, the, the Ottomans seem okay. <laughs> so, apparently this is 50-50, too close to call. But we are going to manually fight it just to make sure we lose as few men as possible. And this will be another territory that will belong to Saxony. I'm going to need to build a bit of a front line in the Caucasus against possible invaders, including the Persians. But I think with a good amount of infantry plus a good amount of mortars, you'll be able to stop almost anyone trying to break through. So the enemy strength is sufficiently low. My foot artillery aren't going to get a look in. My howitzers are going to fire with round shot. My skirmishers are just going to hunker down. The cavalry is just going to hunker down. Yeah, just let them come at us. <laughs> yeah, because they've got the Bjorni Streltsy. Whoa. On, give me correct audio. I mean, don't tell me you're going to run back into the city. You can't do that. get to you don't get to sally and then just decide actually nah we're not going to come out and play 
Very well. My guns will go up onto the hill. What? They can't do that. Not allowed. I mean, to be honest, I haven't seen the AI do this before. I've done it to the AI before. Engaged with Bjorn Estrenzi. So my guns are going out wide. That might be why their cavalry is decided to take a bit more of a renewed interest in coming out of this side. No, nope, they've changed their mind again. So they they have it serves no purpose for them to do this except to try and trick me and lure me in. They will not. It is impossible for them to win with this strategy because they. They, they attacked me, so I'm on the defence, so I'm the one that benefits from running the clock down. I think they're all going to shoot at the General's bodyguard. You think this is a good idea, do you? My last guns are going to fire. Ooh. Then they're going to position to destroy a section of the wall. Because this is ludicrous. I mean, it's smart thinking by the AI, but yeah, the easy way to win would be just to cut the recording and just decide, nah, you know what? We're not going to... We're not going to do anything. We're just going to stay here. That's the smart play. I ain't none too clever. I'm going to leave my foot artillery firing at will, because even though they're not shown as being... Oh, they were previously firing. Yeah, engage destroying a second wall, I guess. What does what sense? This makes no sense. It's kind of working. So I'm gonna pro I'm gonna push in, but. Let's just make sure my fusiliers aren't the first ones in. Drop in the square. Okay, here we go. Teach you to play me. Right, come out the front door. Very clever indeed. Just clever enough to get you all killed. Wait till these quick limes come in. Now they've all advanced out front. They're all susceptible to fire by rank. Fired your volley, now run. There you go, that's everyone in game. Everyone get engaged the 21st Narvsky Regiment of Foot. 
Poor souls. You want to get some good kills out of this though, 6th Grenadier Regiment. Let's run you more over like so. Let's let this happen, because it will just get my Grenadiers some kills. you guys down. And my mercenaries storm the gate. Everyone else sees fire. This is so dumb. These men running through the other breach to pretty much form a firing squad. How about you? No, not my mercenary. You dog. There they go, they all broke. They always break in the end. That's right, Boris. You couldn't die in battle. You had to flee. Still, though, he becomes our prisoner. A seriously high-ranking Russian general. Wish that was a mechanic. That would be pretty neat. Hey, you could fight that. But again, I want, I want to replenish my army. Yeah, raids galore. These are furiously... Oh, God. There's an army in the Atlantic. That's not vulnerable at all. Luckily, my the enemies I am fighting, uh, they're bottled up in the Med and in the Baltic, so... That's not as massive of a problem. That's a bit of an awkward problem. See, it's still one piece and they're still beefing up there. Yes, a full Saxon army. That's what I want to see. So, you're coming back. With a significantly worse army so the the interesting option there is to sally out and engage before you have a chance to siege me that's the easier option at least we can start converting the people towards christianity enemy raid Military tech, platoon firing, and you've gone on to diamond formation. That's fine because we don't have any top tier military buildings to keep the upgrades going. Good, good, good. Seminary, Eva's cottage becomes a water powered cloth mill. Yeah, a lot of army staff colleges are going to be telling us they can be built. So let's get them built. And let's get Paris fortified. Not that we'll expect to need it. Good stuff. They're still churning out troops. It's going to be a large, fun battle when we do take them out. There we go, we're at full strength. So let's advance into a bit more of an aggressive position. We took Breslau. So then diplomacy, minor nations, Saxony. We are going to give them. Offer Silesia. With another 
shipment of 10,000. Excellent. God, we are just... I mean, I'm just going to demand the surrender of Poland. Let's see if they give it to us. Surrender refused. Fair enough. Hold the city for now. You'll keep most of the Russians east of the river. Except for these guys, obviously, so it would be useful then to attack them and force them east. So let's do that. Force them east across the river, take Gdansk, secure it, and again, give another settlement to Poland. Not to Poland, to Saxony, with a pocket full of gold. So I really want to see a proper Saxony, Austria slugfest. All the while, I'm expanding around the rest of the world, so my quest for world dominance is still ongoing. It's just with the pseudo-blessing of an ally. Keep the guns limbered behind the line for now. I want to see where the enemy formations come in. And group all my skirmishes on one flank. The howitzers can be up and firing. Definitely just took some marines' heads off. Yeah, my gun's limbered up. Let's start to make... Make some holes to deploy troops or to deploy, to deploy the guns rather it looks like for our purposes they're going to be coming in from a from good direction so you can go over there you can get in there you get back up onto this high ground area Don't even need to form square. Okay, how it says. Focus on the Simonevsky Foot Guard and the 45th Regiment. Here comes the enemy reinforcements. We don't really care about them. Let's fold the two flank companies in. Probably take our regiment of horse and make them join up with the seventh on the other flank. Maintain fire. It's the eleventh regiment of militia. So you make you run along like so, then run along like so, then join the flank. Another volley, please. Let's wheel my cavalry left to get involved against these militia. Good. Form your line again. Teams go just a bit further forward. And if we have to redeploy you, unlimber with canister. All oh, the foot guards are getting ready to charge. A bit of a bad time to unlimber my guns. 
make my cavalry push up this flank, make sure my howitzers are engaging new targets General's bodyguards now committed. Interesting. These grenadiers are, getting, are just getting mowed down. I mean, they look great. So that's the regiment of guard grenadiers is apparently wavering. I mean, they have been surrounded by enemy infantry. Broken. Cavalry to go after the general. The unit of Lance and Guards pushing in. So here comes some of the reinforcements. Are they coming in in mass? Although they are walking, they anticipate the death of the, f of the force, I think. They do not think these guys have much going for them. Pivot you guys a little bit. Chase down the guerrilla mercenaries. More militia charging in. Charging in to infantry that's firing on them. Destroy them. Excellent. And the 40th Regiment of Foot. You're going to provide a bit of a guard for this infantry, for this cavalry, artillery unit rather. Okay, there we go. Let's limber up. Let's limber up and redeploy. light infantry up towards the trees. So you have to be wary of the cavalry defences because those are enemy, not friendly. So you've got to be real careful how we deploy our regiment of force. You haven't lost a single man. Artillery is going to limber up, move them close to the front. Excellent. Let's make my infantry run so at least they can ca get their breath back, standing in the place they need to be. Guns at range, engage. Engage the seventh light horse. General's bodyguard does not want to risk it. They are right at the back corner. See, my guys, they're happy the general is alive. Okay, the seventh light horse are gaining some momentum. Retarget the 25th foot guards to see if that changes their calculus. Form square. So yeah, these don't impact them because they're friendly. They just hop right over them. Form square. 
Artillery keeps trending up. I don't need to deploy my cavalry in response. And limber one howitzer unit. I mean, this bizarre unit will likely break, but then come back. You men form square on the flank. Howitzer engage the Cossacks with quick climb fire. Potentially devastating for them. Yes, that's 30 Cossacks destroyed. Okay, retarget. Engage the Marines coming in. Yeah, my right flank's looking a bit lonely. Gunners blast the European mercenaries. Let's maybe pivot you guys back just a little bit. You men engage the foot guards. Now it's a limber. Fire of the Cossacks again. Get my cavalry in there, I just need to run around these defences. Another quick climb salvo coming in. Okay, they're broken. Let's see if I can catch a few of them and maybe rout them. Can't take my eyes off of my cavalry. Well, not rout them, shatter them. There we go. One howitzer unit engage the grenadiers, another howitzer unit engage the marines. Engage has to fire to your front. This is not ideal. These men are marines and grenadiers. Retarget my howitzers. Gunners engage the 26th. Good hits, good hits. Yep, come on, cavalry, you gotta get over here. These men are Kamloops, Skirmish Cav. So the gunner's back here. Blinker, the Pachewski Regiment of Foot coming in. We have to kind of ignore the Skirmishers, Skirmish Cav for now. We need to run into the back of these Russians and cause them to question everything they hold dear. How oh, it says concentrate fire. Yeah, that's exactly the problem I was afraid of. Limber up this set of guns. These men might be forfeit. We're going to stay back and keep firing. And these guys are going to have to give their lives to buy time. Hold! So you men secure between the guns, you men secure on the flank.
Oh, it's just keep engaging Kamloops. Round shot the enemy. We may lose our unit of howitzers doing this, but we kind a unit of artillery rather. But we need do need to keep the enemy at range. You men engage the marines. They need to engage the, engage the regiment of horse. You men pull back. You just managed to hit them, but not enough. Switch to canister shot. Now it's a fine, he's focus on the right flank rather than the left. And the skirmishes are very much upset. To be expected, of course. Keep pulling back, keep pulling back. Oh, good hits. Potentially game battle winning hits there. No, don't redeploy. Kamloops are being hit from the front. They've been broken. Okay, so you... You may need to deploy right up in their faces. These gunners need to... Oh, no way super useful for them to go. Re relying on my cavalry sacrificing themselves. Don't charge, they're running away the opposite direction. Volley's at close range. You need to try and engage the militia, but I'm afraid that's going to be tricky. Push up our right flank. Howitzers engage the enemy to the rear. These marines are getting picked apart. Our gunners need to keep their guns firing. If not, we need to be ready to form a second, a third line, really. Howitzers keep picking off these targets. Skirmishers should win against the marines but the, my marines versus their grenadiers is going our way my marines need to charge on into the militia excellent front secured get men back at their posts howitzers begin knocking the core out of the enemy reinforcements Gunners deploy here to form one large gun line, or larger gun, li gun line. Engage the enemy militia to the rear. Can't be picky now, infantry. We need to bring you back into the line. Pour it on them. Oh, no, these gunners are bugged, so we definitely need you guys now. Gun team to the rear, engage the general's bodyguard. So these three units collectively should be okay with this unit of militia. charge or counter charge 
you men engage the Cossacks. There we go. We managed to charge them because they cancelled their charge at the last minute. Engage the Grenadiers. You men engage them. One of the howitzers engaged the blunderbuss shotgunners. The other engaged them. You men fall back. Good, good, good. Gunners get ready to engage the first light foot. Gun team to the rear. Keep engaging the general's bodyguard. But it looks like... It looks like we may be able just to focus all our artillery on the general's bodyguard. The blunderbuss shotgunners are going to advance. That's a lot of dead bodies. Lots of the morales as well. Grenadiers and marines combine charge. They're a difficult beastie. See men reload like your lives depend on it. Because they kind of do the militia. Oh, okay, right. Cossacks are coming back. And you with... Oh, doesn't matter. Don't have, to get it. Don't have to worry about them. The general's bodyguard is exhausted. I'm not surprised to him. Running around a lot, trying to avoid musket fire. general is broken. All my howitzers hit the 40th regiment of foot. There go the first. And it's all down to the 40th on the flank. They're facing off against one of my units. So let's Start by pivoting them back. Keep my gunners engaging them with quick line fire. Starting to run low on ammunition pretty much across the board. Everyone else is pretty much out of it. She bears. I fired short. Misfire. Couple more shots from the 23rd Regiment. There we go. It's knocked them down a peg or two. But I speed up time a little bit because right now it's only. Yeah, there they go. Oof. So that was very punishing, but still, a win is a win. Oh, hey, who's that? It's the general. It's the bleeding general. Focus him with artillery fire. See if we can knock him off of his horse. Nah. Sadly not. So, yeah, I'll push across the northern coast of modern-day Germany slash Poland is a bit of a bust. Especially now that, oh, that now those guys have run, re retreated to the rear of where our army formerly was. But at least we can demand this. Uh, oh, okay, we cannot demand the surrender of the city, but we will attempt to do so. You guys should be okay, because these guys have all got quite badly beaten up. So much so, actually. Let's see if we can knock off that general. No, sadly not. More raids. Let's see if we now. Now we can come and get you. Chew him up. Oh god, we actually lost a whole unit. Curious. It wasn't artillery, it wasn't cavalry, it wasn't howitzers. It might have been European mercenaries. Let's get, make sure it's something close. 
I mean, if it's not militia, then I'm probably going to be... Okay, that's a bit of a, bit of a dumb auto resolve. Oh well. Live and learn. Seamen are all up in position. You're up in position. Cool. Sigmund Ebert. Militia Saxon Regiment. Grenadier Guards. Cuprinsian Grenadiers. 2nd Grenadier Regiment. Let's have a look at Berlin. See how they're doing there. Yes, they've got another... Yes, they've got... That's what we're talking about. They're starting to get proper armies in the field. Although it looks like... Right. Da -da -da -da. And there we go. Get Berlin rebuilt. I want to see you guys in the field. So they're allied with the Dutch, but we should be able to get around that by attacking a Dutch protectorate. Done all this. Here we have. Cool. So the one other thing we're going to want to do. Take this army out of Tbilisi. March into the Persian army and meet them head on. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for some Persian slaughter. Cheers, everyone.